this video we shall be illustrating the reproductive system of sepia in the previous video in which we had shown the digestive system we had made the cut from the dorsal side by removing the internal shell although in that case we had started from the dorsal side in the case of the reproductive system we shall be making a cut on the ventral side starting from the anterior moving towards the posterior we will be illustrating the dissection of the reproductive system of sepia in the previous video in which we had exposed the digestive system we had made a cut from the dorsal side by removing the internal shell but in the case of the reproductive system we shall be making a cut from the ventral side from the anterior to the posterior after we made the cut on the ventral side from anterior to posterior we open the part of the mantle and the first thing that catches the eye are these two glands the nedimental glands this is a sure shot method of finding out the sex of the sepia in this case a female in order to expose all the parts of the female reproductive system one can easily get rid of the other systems for example the tenedia after discarding the parts of the viscera that we do not need this is what we see a pair of nedimental glands attached to which on top are the accessory nedimental glands what is also seen is the oviduct and the female genital opening in order to see the ovary which contain the eggs we will have to remove the eggs be extremely careful while removing the membrane present in between the ink sac and the ovary this is to avoid the rupturing of the ovary in case of a gravid or mature female we observe that the ovary takes up a large part of the viscera in case of this female which is mature female we see the eggs present inside the ovary let's do a quick recap of the parts of the female reproductive system in the order that we saw them in first we saw the nedimental gland that is a pair of nedimental glands above which were present the accessory nedimental gland we then saw the glands of the oviduct and the female genital opening on removing the membrane present in between the ink sac we were able to clearly see the ovary which contained the organism that we had dissected was a female this is what we saw the nedimental gland the accessory nedimental gland the ovary with ova the oviduct the glands of the oviduct and the female genital opening on the other side we see the male reproductive system we can see a singular testis which is supported by the coelomic sac we see the vas deferens which goes into the seminal vesicle and the prostate this semen which now constitute of the sperm and the seminal fluid goes into the spermatophore sac also called the needum sac then it passes out through the male genital orifice